Okay, so in this tutorial what I'm going to do is I'm going to create what I call a, a nested type selector. And the idea behind the nested type selector is um, typically with, with our families that we've been doing, we're able to change materials, we're able to take a geometry and change its size, um, height, width, depth, all that kind of stuff. Um, with this type, nested type selector, this allows you to actually change the actual geometry itself. So for example, with this table here, we're able to um, change we have a parameter here where I can call it this I go from square top and then I can change the geometry to a round top and then still we're still able to then create you know change the radius of the tabletop to three feet and then go back to a square tabletop and change the geometry of that to five feet so on and so forth so that's the idea here is um, is to be able to change the geometry instead of just being able to change materials, visibility, and uh, and dimensions of an object. Um, the use of that so this is kind of useful one in, in when you're making things like tabletops, but um, a lot of times I'll use this for doors. Uh, if I'm doing a door, so like a door family or something like that, then I can change from a full light door to a flush door to a panel door, you know, so on and so forth, all within the same family. Uh, another good use for it is in um, cabinets. Like if you have different door drawer or door configurations, some base cabinets you have just have a pair of doors. Some have a pair of doors and a drawer on it. You can change the faces of the cabinets um, all within the the same family. So it's a pretty useful uh, technique to do in in uh, in creating families. So let me close this. So this is what the final final um, family will look like. All right. So let me close that. All right, so this is where we're at right now with our family. Um, what we've got is a series of parameters here. We've got a table, so a, a parameter that controls the tabletop material, the table uh, base material, and I have width, height, and depth. Um, and then I also have a visibility parameter on my chair, so I can turn the chairs on and off. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, too, when you have this visibility parameter for your chairs, you can turn your chairs on and off all you want when you're in the family editor. You'll notice that they don't, no matter wh whether I have that checked or not, they're still there. So the visibility parameters never work in the family editor. They only work when you're actually in the project itself. So that's just something to keep in, keep in mind. Okay, so what we're going to do, so to, just to kind of explain how, do we, how we're going to do this, what I need to do is I need, here's my family, uh, my table family. What I need to do is take the tabletop and the table base and I need to pull them out of this family and then reload them back in as nested families. All right, so it's a, that's kind of the key here is to make sure that the tabletop, the square and the, and the round tabletop and the square and the round table base are all uh, both nested families. And so there's my little diagram here. So here's that original family that we've got. We're gonna pull out the tabletop uh, family and we're going to pull out the table base family and so they're going to be separate family files so this will be it and then we're going to nest them back in so we're going to create nested families and we're just going to take that family as a nested family for the tabletop and the table base and load them back into our primary family um, or the original family that we have here all right back here you can see here where i've got parking it says parking back here and parking back here the key to doing this is uh, has to do with this. This is the golden folder or uh, the family geometry and parameters. This basically controls what type of family it is, the category basically that that family fits into. So for ours, um, we are starting with, um, for our table and chair set, is uh, should actually be set to furniture, sorry. So um, this is the category that our family right now fits into is the furniture family. All right, so that was the template that we started out with when we created this, all right. Um, and but you can actually change some of these so you can actually change some of the uh, the um, the category that these these nested families are in we're gonna change them to a parking category and I'll explain why you want to do that um, and why I chose parking to make these but um, so later on in another step what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up this uh, golden folder here and um, change the uh, change some of these nested families to parking um, nested families all right, so the first step, though, is, is to pull out that tabletop and pull out that uh, table base and um, nest them back in. So the first step that you want to do is, once you're, got, once you're in, in your uh, project file, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Save As. All right, so go Save As Family. Find some place, basically, um, real easy to, to uh, put it, or a nice place to put it. All right, so we're going to call this one, um, this is going to be our tabletop. So let's call this one Square Tabletop. All right, so delete that name. All right, and this is going to be our nested family, and it's going to be called Square T 
table top. Oops. Tabletop. All right. I want to say save. All right. So this is our new family. Um, all right. So the first thing you want to do that. So now we're in our nested family here. Uh, first thing you want to do is I'm going to delete every geometry in here that's not the tabletop. So I'm going to delete these chairs. So delete that. Delete that. Delete that. Delete that chair. And I'm going to delete all the parts of my base. So I delete that. I delete that. And delete that. So all I have here is my tabletop. That's the only part of this thing I want to keep. So, um, all right. Then the next step uh, is to change all your parameters to instance parameters. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to four blue squares up here. All right, four blue squares. And I'm going to change all my um, all these parameters basically to instance parameters. So I'm going to start with tabletop material. So select tabletop material. Go to modify over here on the right. All right, and then just check the little box here that says instance. All right, and then say OK. You know that it's an instance parameter when it has the little word default in per, uh, parentheses there. All right, so once it says that, then you know you've got an instance parameter. So select the parameter, modify, instance, and OK. And then width, modify, instance, OK. All right. All right, and then um, you really only need to do them to your material parameters and your dimension parameters. You don't need to do them to the chairs or anything else, but just those five. All right, so as soon as I do that, then that's then I hit OK. All right, and then right now, uh, if I go to the gold folder here, the um, family and categories and uh, family categories and parameters. Right now, it's a uh, furniture category. Let's go ahead and change that to a parking family. Oh, okay. That should be fine. All right. Yeah, I think that's just a warning uh, uh, message. I think well, that that's fine. We just say okay. All right. So now it's a parking family. All right. Then at that point, um, then we're pretty much ready to just uh, say save. So I'm gonna say save. All right. So that is our first nested family. All right, and then we're going to repeat that same process with our base. So let's just close this. So I'm going to close, go back to our original family. All right, which was all right, and then um, so once you're back in your original family, um, going to do another save as. So go family save as. All right, and then I'm going to save this in a place where I'm going to be able to find it. And I'm going to call this one square table base. All right, so there's square table base. All right, so then we're going to just repeat that same process um, with this, with our table base. And that's basically then to delete all the geometry with the exception of the table base. So delete the chairs, delete the top. Oh, I'm just hitting the delete button on my keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. So then delete all the geometry out. And then change all of my parameters to instance parameters. So I go to four blue squares and go back in here, go to select the parameter, go to modify, change it to an instance. All right, width, change that to an instance. All right, so now these are all instance parameters. I'm going to say OK. All right, and then the last step was then to change it to a parking. Um, oh, let's not change this one to a parking. Let's change this one to entourage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to, yeah, we're going to change it to an entourage family. So if you go to the golden folder, let's go down here. We'll scroll down to entourage with an E. All right, so now it's saved as an entourage family. All right, and then at that point, then we can just hit save. All right, and then that basically is our nested uh, base family. All right, so now let's go back to our 
original family once again. So let's go to close. All right, and let's go back to our original family. I'm calling mine table without nests, so I go to OK. All right, then what we want to do is, okay, so we've got, a, we've got our old tabletop in there. We're going to replace that with a nested family. So I'm going to select it and say delete. All right, and select the table base and just delete the parts of the table base. All right, so there it is, basically all my geometry is gone. Now what I'm going to do is reload those families in as nested parameters, or as nested families, sorry. All right, so let me go to my plan view. So everybody go to your plan view. So delete everything except for the chairs? Yeah. All right, so when I load these guys back in, when I load those uh, parameter or those nested families back in, I want to basically put them uh, right here so they align them up with the center. Because that center axis, remember, exists in all those other families, you know, all those nested families. So um, that'll be our insertion point. So just put the insertion point right there at that intersection. All right, so to load those nested families, let's go to the Create tab. And you're going to go to the Component um, uh, command here. All right, I'm going to say load family. And it, you're just loading these basically like you'd load a door or a, a window in a project file. So I go to desktop. All right, let me find my latest uh, square tabletop. So select that. Say OK. All right, and it should snap right to your center point. So I'm going to snap it in there. All right, click there. Yeah, if you accidentally... Oh, okay, yeah. All right, well, we can come back. We can come back to that. Um, all right, so uh, there's your tabletop. All right, and I'm going to do the, and I'm going to go to insert. Oops, sorry. Go to create, component, load family, and I'll load my base. Okay, do the same thing. Open. Okay, it's like that. All right, so I drop in my base. All right, so it should be. So here's my nested families there and there. So now I've lo nested my um, tabletop and table base in. All right, so that's going to be part one. So let me just uh, stop it here. Then in part two, what we'll do is then we'll reconnect these parameters for the nested families, and then we'll create the nested type selector uh, family in part two. All right.